We have what? some surf macarons. What is going on? Oh no. Oh no. What do you do with this? Do you plant it? <laughs> Hey team, welcome back to another episode. Today, Leah and I are conducting a bit of an experiment. We are going to do our standard shopping trip at Whole Foods. I have mixed feelings, right? Like we could just walk down the street to where we normally buy our groceries, but people seem to love Whole Foods. Like what's, what's the deal? I don't know. Yeah, there's a lot of hype around the grocery store chain. Uh, we've never used it, but we're gonna see what it's all about. This video is sponsored by Fresh, Fresh Pro. You can't even run other way. This, this video is sponsored by Fresh Prep. They are an amazing uh, meal delivery service that also offers a zero waste delivery option for some of their meals. So we're gonna be talking about them later in the video. So look forward to that. So a couple of months ago, we made a video about our zero waste grocery haul and we shared that with all of you and the reality is a lot of people don't have access to the kinds of stores that we grocery shop in. They're very specialized, they're very small and boutique in nature. And so we wanted to go and check out Whole Foods because we think that it's probably the closest thing to a organic focused, potentially zero waste store that a lot of people will likely have access to. So we're gonna go see, but uh, unfortunately Whole Foods is nowhere close to where we live. So we are going to have to drive to go and check it out, which is the first downvote in my opinion, but. Sorry Whole Foods. We're doing it, we're doing it for you. So part of the reason that we are making this video is because on Future Proof, we just released a video talking about how Whole Foods sort of revolutionized the organic food industry. So we thought we would complement that video by going and actually shopping at Whole Foods, something that we have never done on this channel or in real life <laughs> regularly, just to kind of see what's the hype, what kind of products do they actually have available and what's the quality of them. We had a ton of fun making the video for the Future Proof channel. It's one of my favorites over there so far. Well, it, it is, <laughs> it is only, the second it's one. It's only the second one. <laughs> <laughs> But, <laughs> but either way, I think you might really enjoy it, so uh, go and check it out. God <laughs> damn it. <laughs> it's one of my favorite ones over there. One of two. <laughs> there it is. We got here. It's massive. So this particular Whole Foods is actually in between two highways, out kind of in the middle of nowhere. and. That makes it kind of difficult to get to unless you have a car. Like I would say probably most people who shop at this store drive to and from. So there you, go. You, you gotta be able to drive. Oh wow, what's this? Okay, so my aunt and uncle live. this is our uh, organic squash that we wanted to buy and it, it is local, so that's pretty good. Look at that. Is that? Yeah, let's get it. All right, so what we're looking for when we're here is whether or not the food they have is local at all. Um, how much of it is plastic free and uh, whether or not it's good quality. So we're looking for like organic stuff and um, brands that we know to be reputable. So let's see how it goes. So this plant-based section that they have here is, um, I would say, more robust than what we have at our local grocery store for sure. Yeah. yeah, and there's like brands and stuff I've never even seen, so that's that's pretty cool. And some local things. And local stuff too. Here in the chip aisle, and I have like, granted, probably like <laughs> an unhealthy interest in Miss Vicky's balsamic vinegar and onion chips and they don't even carry Miss Vicky's like Miss Vicky's don't even reach the quality level I guess the Whole Foods is looking for. They do have these local chips but we can get these exact same chips as zero waste at our local zero waste store. That's true yeah this is a local company and uh, it's cool to see that they're carrying them honestly. Yeah they're great chips. Oh dang, look they got your boys clean canteens. Uh. 
Okay, so if you're looking for clean canteens in Canada, everybody, check them out. Nice, oh my God. So this is crazy, because we haven't been able to find this anywhere so far. And this is the uh, Liquid Just Egg, which is a plant-based egg alternative. So we're really stoked to try this. Oh, Leah, look. Sorry, hold on. Oh, no. Oh, no. What do you do with this? You can plant it? <laughs> wow, so the Ghana baskets are here at Whole Foods. It's, it's November. The 5th. It's the 5th of the November fifth. and we no, got, we got Nog. Nog is already here. Oh my god. Crazy. Awesome. Have a good one. This is a real moment of truth. How much how much did it cost, Levi? Uh we spent eighty-one dollars and thirty-six cents. Eighty-one dollars. We got one Ghana basket basically just full of fruit and veg. We got a few specialty items. So we're gonna go home and we're gonna talk about whether or not this stuff is all worth $81. But first we're gonna talk about the sponsor of today's video. Fresh prep. <laughs> <laughs> Fresh prep. It's like my Fresh prep. So a couple of months ago, Leah and I made a video about meal kits in general. And I think we were both pretty blown away by what Fresh Prep had to offer. Fresh Prep offers a zero waste kit, which they deliver right to your house. Fresh Prep is a great option for people looking to cook more meals at home, but maybe need a bit of help getting started. And it would also be an awesome option for anyone who finds themselves throwing out food on a regular basis. The sad reality is that 40% of all of the food that we buy ends up in the trash. And meal kits are an option to prevent that from happening. Instead of wasting that food and the money that you've spent on it, you can get a pre-portioned meal delivered to your door through Fresh Prep instead. I like to think of it as a mini cooking lesson and you don't have to worry about measuring things out. It's all already done for you. And it's actually like a really fun way. You know what you're gonna eat at the end of the day and you know that it's gonna be delicious. But Fresh Prep goes even further than that. Not only did they create the world's first zero waste meal kit service, but they're also a registered B Corporation and they source 75% of all their ingredients right here in BC. If you go down into the link, you can get 75% off your first meal with Fresh Prep. Yeah, you can do that or you can just use the code right here. Also, we're really particular on the sponsorships that we take on this channel. So it's really great to promote something that we have actually used and enjoy and we hope you enjoy too. So go and check them out. Every person who signs up and supports the brands that we bring on here helps us a ton. So thank you so much and uh, let's get back into the video. So for $81, we got all of this food. And instinct, off the top of your head, do you think it was worth it? 81, if you were just looking at like the vegetables, you'd be like, wow, that's, that's really expensive. Mm -hmm. But we got a couple of things we don't normally get. Uh, we wanted to try this vegan yogurt. Uh, we've been meaning to try out. Yeah. This is a local company from Vancouver and they make a really amazing pesto as well as just egg. Like we had never tried this before. So some specialty items yeah. that I think, you know, amped up the price. This is probably similar to what we spend at our specialty shops, but Whole Foods has a certain kind of international reach. So they're able to bring in really cool specialty products that you wouldn't be able to get other places. So if you are able to spend more money on your groceries and you prioritize food in your budgeting, Whole Foods is probably gonna be the best place for you to find organic local produce if you don't have a specialty shop in your area. What I did like about when we went to Whole Foods is that they did have local produce that was actually from small towns in BC where we live. And yeah. I haven't really seen impressive. that in a lot of places that we've been yeah. to. In terms of packaging, uh, I was very impressed with the veggie section. We were able to get almost everything 
plastic free, which is which is pretty good and better than other grocery stores that we've seen so far. The specialty items do all come in some sort of packaging. Most of it we can recycle pretty easily, but what was interesting was that at our local grocery store, we're able to recycle soft plastic, but they didn't have that option at Whole Foods. Yeah, they didn't have any kind of recycling or take back program for any of their stuff, which was kind of weird. Yeah. Um, Would have liked to see more of that. So we didn't always shop like this. We were both students for the majority of this YouTube channel's career and we were very thrifty about how we spent money. But as we've grown older and we're no longer paying tuition and we have jobs that make money, we've started to put more and more money into the food that we eat because we feel like that's a big priority for us in being healthy and supporting what can be more sustainable food systems for our planet. I think the first thing that's really important to note is that we have a lot of privilege in being able to shop at lots of different places. And that's a part of where we live, but also the money that we have to prioritize buying local produce, buying specialty items that we enjoy eating. That's not the case for a lot of people, which we recognize. If you were to walk in that space and say you only have 20 bucks for groceries, or you, yeah, yeah. you know, like it's, it's not a, welcoming in that sense. No, and I think it's very welcoming to like a very specific demographic. Did you like the experience of shopping at Whole Foods? I feel so slimy saying yes. <laughs> is that it is designed for for it's designed for white women like me to walk around and go ooh lavender soaps. It's awful how curated it is for a very particular audience, and I felt uncomfortable with how comfortable I was in that space. It's objectively gorgeous. The, the whole experience feels luxurious, honestly. Uh, you know, all the products are high quality. All of the produce is organic. This is an interesting challenge because uh, we can't really solve the problems of the world, just creating sustainable alternatives for people who have the money to choose that. We need to create systems for our food and for our housing and for our transportation that support all income levels. This, this can't just be something that Levi and Leah can enjoy because, you know, they make enough money to do so. And also because it's our job to document us doing sustainable things. Absolutely. Like, we can take time out of our Saturday to get in the car and drive to go do that because we are getting paid to do that. This is a part of our job. We right? wrote off all of this food as a business yeah. expense because it's a part of this video. And, and I don't know if that comes across very obviously in what we do, but we're really trying to represent that our lived reality is not everyone's lived reality. So hopefully this video was at least interesting or applicable in your circumstance. Uh, we would love to hear what you think of Whole Foods. Do you maybe just go for your specialty vegan yogurt and then get the rest of your food somewhere else? Yeah. You know what? I enjoyed Whole Foods. I don't think we'll be going back anytime soon. No, I don't think we will either. Well, thank you so much for taking some time out of your day to spend it with us. And if you're subscribed to the channel, we will see you in the next one. Thanks everyone. <laughs> Somebody commented last time I couldn't let him down. <laughs>Faux fish made by Aki. And Amy. And it's great. Yeah, well, Amy, I don't, I don't know Amy. Mainly Amy. Um, That's really good. But it's bad. really good. That's yeah. super cool. Check that out mm. plant based smoked salmon. That's awesome. I love